this is David for Big Bits, and in this video we're going to take a look at using line breaks in labels and also in alert conditions so that your text can be formatted a little bit better and look a little bit nicer when you're looking at it on a screen or whatever device you're going to receive your alerts on as well. So it's actually very simple. All you really need to do is within your message you need to use a special character or a special set of characters which is the backspace and in. I'm going to remove my head so that you can kind of see this a little bit better. So we have printed a label here and this is actually a persistent warning which is something this all video is also about. Uh, we're going to show you a warning on this particular indicator by default and if there's some reason you need to share a warning with someone this will keep the warning always in this position on the indicator because what you really probably don't want is if you're giving a warning you don't want this message to kind of slide back and disappear over time if you want someone to actually see it you want it to be persistent and then also I've given it the option to disable that warning so it'll disappear too but that is not really what I'm focusing on first we're gonna focus on these line breaks now the label itself we have this particular message and what I noticed when I first did this is that the message was so long it looked ridiculous it ran off the edge of the screen so to fix that we had to use a line break and we to do that we had to use backspace backslash in excuse me and keep in mind if you use the spaces there they will be added to the end or the beginning of the particular lines so your alignment might change if you leave those spaces in there so I took the spaces out between the word and the line break that is something that's up to you of course and I also did a double line break here so I gave it some space in between the end of this message and this one so that it was pretty obvious this is a new paragraph now this isn't always necessary this is something that just might come in handy for you but we're also going to take a look at alert uh, alert conditions and line breaks in alert conditions as well so in order to do this you have to create an alert condition and if you're not familiar with those I've made plenty of videos about those I've actually made at least two videos about alert conditions and we're going to create an alert and it's going to fire and it's going to show what the line break looks like in an alert now I'm going to go ahead and set this alert up for you I've actually already got it set up so I've already selected our indicator we're using and then I'm also selecting this condition we're not worried about any of the other ones and we're going to show a pop-up but I'm also going to send myself an SMS and I'm actually going to show you this on the screen so that you can kind of get an idea of what it's actually going to look like now I'm going to hit save it's going to take a moment and then the alert will fire because it's always set to be on so the alert is going to turn on it's only going to happen once so it's not going to keep doing this but it's going to fire immediately then you're going to see what it looks like in the alert message you'll see the line breaks actually work in this text box here but uh, pay attention there you go the alert fired and this is what a line break backslash in looks like in an alert now on the pop-up message here on this little modal pop-up on your screen there isn't really any line break actually occurring I'll uh, kind of mention this to TradingView to see if they can actually fix that I'm not sure why it wouldn't work but we'll see and this does actually work outside of that so I'm gonna bring my head back on here while that's alert is up I'm going to show you once I change this let me hold my phone up to the screen and then we'll zoom in uh, there we go switch to this one okay try and hold my hand still here you can see there is line breaks in this particular example on your text messages so if you wanted to use your line breaks you can do that and you'll actually see those in your other messages with your alert condition so it's actually pretty cool now back to the warning message the way to do this and you can always reference this script to get the code for this but I have an input to show the warning message and by default 
it's going to be true. That way, whenever they add the indicator to their chart, they're always going to see the warning message. And if you've seen my last video, you'll know that the reason this warning message is on here is because in certain situations, when we're comparing one security to another, they might not produce a comparison because the bars in cryptocurrency might not match the same bar times with traditional markets because the traditional markets close and cryptocurrency trades 24 seven. So you might have a bar for Saturday in cryptocurrency where a traditional market doesn't because it's closed then you can't really compare those. So it's not going to plot those. So that's the reason why this is showing on this one. And I gave it an input to show or not. And I'll show you how we do this. We're just going to use a simple if statement. If our show warning is still set to true, we're going to create this label. We're going to put our message in here and we're going to set our colors and stuff. If you want to make this stand out more as a real warning, you can do that as well. But the important thing is we always have this set to occur on the current bar index. But if you do not update this, it's either going to continue to print a new label every single candle and they're going to keep sliding back and you're going to keep printing more and more labels. But the way to fix that is you use the label delete function and you always delete the one from the last candle. That way, when a new candle starts, this one gets deleted and the one on the next bar index will pop up. That way, it's going to be persistent and always show up at the current position on the indicator until they go into the settings, uncheck show warning, and it's gone. And that's also why I put the little message at the end, disable this message in settings, because if they don't want to see it, they can just uncheck that there. And that's all there is to it. So in this video, we talked about our line breaks in our labels and also in our alert conditions. But we also talked about a way to add in this kind of persistent message in our chart as a warning or whatever you might want to do so that it doesn't disappear and it's always at the front and getting the attention of the user. Now, the, the indicator itself that I'm using, I talked about in the last video, I might have already mentioned that. You can find it in the publicly available ind indicators. <laughs> so you can just search for any security and it should be out there. Is it case sensitive? Okay, maybe I haven't published this one, I don't know. Or maybe it's just not cached yet. But you should be able to find this one in the public library. It's going to be published publicly. And that should be all there is to this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Or if you have any ideas or suggestions for other videos, please leave a comment in the, in the comments section. There's also plenty of links in the description for the video for other things you might want to do, such as checking out my TradingView profile where you can see the other scripts that I've created here. And you can also follow my profile and it'll kind of give you updates when things happen with the account. That is about it for TradingView, but, oh wait, there is one more thing. You can always check out the referral link that'll give you $30 if you decide to use a paid plan on TradingView. So if you've been following the series and you want a paid plan, you can use the referral link and you get $30 towards your next paid plan and so do I. Yeah, that's it for TradingView. I almost forgot about that. That's kind of important for me. Other than that, if you like the video, please like. If you like the video, then why not subscribe? I do these videos uh, pretty often and there's all sorts of ideas and I like to listen to viewers. I've created several indicators and videos based off of what viewers have said. So subscribe and check out the latest videos. I definitely appreciate it. But other than that, thank you. Have a nice day.